Today we're going to take these pyramids and turn them into a beautiful pencil sketch. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to learn how to transform a photo into a pencil sketch. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've put a link in the video description for the same image I'll be using. Jumping inside Affinity, we'll start off by opening the Layer Studio. Now I'm going to two-finger tap anywhere on the picture and select Duplicate. You can see up in the Layer Studio that we now have a duplicate copy of our background layer. Next, I want to invert this picture. To do this, I'll come to the Adjustment Studio and then press Invert. Opening up the Layer Studio again, you can see that we now have an invert adjustment on top of the layer stack. This means it's affecting all of the layers beneath it. However, I only want it to affect one of these background pictures, so I'm going to click and drag it on top of one of the other layers. This has just made the invert adjustment a child layer, so it's only affecting the top layer. If I uncheck the top layer, you can see that the bottom layer has not been inverted. Next, I'm going to click on the top layer and then press on the three circles at the top left of the Layer Studio. Now I'm going to change the blend mode from Normal to Color Dodge. Your picture should now be almost completely white. We're now going to add a Gaussian Blur filter. To do this, we'll come to the Filter Studio and then at the top, we'll press on All Filters and go to the Blurs category. Now I'll click on Gaussian Blur. You can see that the Gaussian Blur filter has brought back some of our picture as a pencil sketch. As you increase the radius in the contextual toolbar, more of the picture will be turned into a sketch. But if you decrease the radius, then less of it will become a sketch. When you're satisfied, you can press on the lightning bolt to convert this to a live filter. The next adjustment we're going to add is an HSL adjustment, so I'll come to the Adjustment Studio and click on HSL. Currently, our pencil sketch has some color showing in it, so I'm going to bring the saturation all the way down to make this a black and white pencil sketch. If we want, we can also make the lines in our pencil sketch thicker and darker by adding a Levels adjustment. To do this, we'll come to the Adjustment Studio and then select Levels. Then you can bring up the black level to whatever you want. At this point, our photo is just about done, but one thing I still want to do is remove the clouds up in the sky so I have a pencil sketch of just the pyramids. To do this, we're going to mask out the Gaussian blur filter on the sky, thus hiding the effect. To mask out part of the Gaussian blur filter, we'll come back to the Layer Studio, and then press on Layer Options. Now I'm going to open up this group, and press on the Gaussian Blur Filter. Now all I need to do is get my paintbrush, and begin painting in black to remove the Gaussian Blur Filter from the sky. Right now my brush width is too small, so I'll increase it in the contextual toolbar. Then I'll continue painting to remove the Gaussian Blur Filter. With the Gaussian Blur Filter masked out from the sky, we are done with our pencil sketch. Thanks for watching our pencil sketch tutorial! If you enjoyed this video, you should check out our complete beginner's guide to Affinity Photo. It covers all of the tools and techniques you need to edit your photos. I'll put a link in the video description so you can enroll in the course and start mastering Affinity Photo.